Hello, and welcome back to Ooh, Slice and Dice. I wasn't sure if I actually started the recording because I had my shit minimized. I think I did. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, I know I did. I just don't know when I, when I started it. Anyway, anyway. Hey, how's it going? I'm back, baby. More Slice. I will now officially submit. I wanted to wait so that there were no spoilers, but now, like, this video is being recorded. Oh, can I, can I actually not submit? I guess I have to submit at the end. Oh, well. I'll submit at the end and, you know, if you catch a spoiler or whatever. I just didn't want to submit, like, at the end and then have a week of videos spoiled as winners, you know? So, but now it's fine. Anyway, uh, let's get to it, shall we? I can feel myself approaching overconfidence in Slice and Dice. I feel like there's a level of confidence you need to have to be good at things uh, where you are, like, pretty sure. I am, I think, a little overconfident. I feel like I can't lose and that's not good. So I just want to make sure I say that out loud for myself and for you. Uh, we're going to play third turn blind. This is not a hard choice. Third turn curses are scary if the enemy that it spawns in is scary. If this guy is scary, uh, something went wrong. Like if he's really, really bad for you, you should just let him run. But most of the time the fights are going to be well decided by third turn. The reason third turn curses are scary is when it's like third turn wolf or third turn... Uh, what's a bad one? Like I think there are some bad third turns. I don't know. I don't know I'm off top, but like when a bad third turn comes in and you start getting mobbed on Basalt, I think that can be pretty tough. But this guy, like worst case on Basalt, I let him come in and then I just let him run. Oh, and our starting team is really good. I should have mentioned that as well. That should be in there somewhere. And Scoundrel starting off strong. Love to see it. Important to note that enemies at the end of turn two will not flee because of the third turn blind. Yeah, I am super down to get rid of Scoundrel. I was just about to say, the only thing that could make this start better is if I get to get rid of Scoundrel right away. And Trapper is acceptable. A little tough to kill double thorns, but it looks okay. One damage, maybe? Yeah, never mind. It was actually free. Cool. Great start. I feel exceptional. Anchor is a very good tier one. Hat dot squire. I've been thinking about turning the random items off lately. They've been pretty fucking awful, I have to say. <laughs> They've been really bad lately. I don't think I've gotten anything good in recent memory. Down to just dodge here. You see what I mean though? Like, I am playing this without much regard on what I'm doing. That's not good. I should be giving a little bit of respect. I should be sweating at least slightly here. And I'm just, if I say it enough times, eventually I will believe it. <laughs> that's that's mainly where I am. Uh, the blind, I think he won't spawn to poison death, yeah. Warden versus Disciple. I want to play, I think I want to play Warden. Defender's okay, and, but, and Gardener is also okay, so this is kind of just whatever. You could pick either one. I like Warden because I think there's a little bit higher than Disciple. I was pretty high on Disciple for a while, but effectively two X's is not ideal. And Warden does a lot of damage compared to Defender. He does literally double, so I can dig it. And we're just going to crush this guy before the blind even spawns in. Goodbye. Burning Blade or Learn Wings. You know, someone made a case not too long ago, well, not too long ago for me, mentally, like a week or two ago about Learn Wings, and I said, you know, you're not entirely wrong. When you get value out of this, it's the best healing spell in the game. If you get full value, this is two mana heal six. That's, uh, I guess it's about as good as a maxed out Sprout, actually, because that's one mana heal three. So it's the same rate. I'm going to go Burning Blade because Burning Blade is a nice insurance policy against Roulette. It's nice to be able- like, imagine there was an item I could pick in this game that just made it so that if I saw AC was good, right? That's basically how I think about Burning Blade at this point. Or like any left side replacer is just if I get this then my really bad unit is now not as bad. And that's a nice option to have. I'm looking for the kill from four here, by the way. I'm just going to roll down for it. Oh. I should have probably considered playing this differently and thought about uh, making sure that I put the shade into a dying position overall. But hey, it works out. Wow, and kill an enemy doesn't stop the blind from running. Did you know that one? 
I guess because you don't technically attack him. Uh, Faye sucks, so Sinew's good. That's that pick. Nice and easy. Sinew is a good yellow. He's not the best yellow, but the yellows are just kind of, like, stacked. Is how it works out. So he ends up in the good pile in my mind. Can I... I could do, like, kill shot pseudo instead. I don't love it. This way is better. And then I can just pass turn, pass turn pretty safely if I want. I think it's better to go, like, kill... That's almost impossible for me to kill these illusions, huh? The maximum damage from these two blinds is four. Yeah, and if they roll anything under four here, I just end turn. Viable. Hey, Sprout. I was just talking about you. Sprout's okay here. I think incense is bad. I it's like I talked about it being okay, or I talked about cauldron being okay in the last one, because it lets you roll for X's, but the way that I play doesn't land on X's very often. This is much more better, much more of a better pick if you are rolling down. I don't want to roll down, I want to play Sprout. It's not great to play Sprout here, but it's fine. Just a thought, by the way, in case you want to keep track, because this is what I want you to be doing mentally. This is the sort of stuff you should be thinking about. Burning Blade on Sinew is decent, but in this position, if I had Burning Blade on Sinew, he would be dying. And I would have I would be forced, right? This is how you need to approach this game. You would be, if you put Burning Blade on Sinew in this position, you would be forced to be rolling for some sort of shield game plan. And when you're forced to do something in Slice and Dice, sometimes you're going to miss. That's kind of just how it goes. That's the nature of rolling dice. So the value of having more HP is getting around that get the game forcing your hand sort of interaction. I don't have to roll to save him. And, and that lets me be more aggressive and lets me high roll more often. I can re-roll his shields and then suddenly I get four damage. Obviously the shields were good there, but like this is just a sort of here's how you think about it idea. We have a secret combo here. I talked about this last time. Someone asked me in the comments while I was out of town to talk about what would be bad if you press random here. So you have Medic might go. And when I'm approaching this game, since I'm trying to win 100 games, the way that I try to target it is I try to target uh, like within uh, 1 in 100, right? So if I'm trying to win 100 games, I want to think about situations that could happen and cost me the game under, like, it, with a rarity of under 100, 1 in 100, right? So like, for example, if I'm randoming a blue and it's 1 in 8 to roll ghast, that's going to happen sometimes. And that's the sort of thing. If that loses me the game, I want to think about that. So that's why I'm a little more conservative with my randoms lately. But Medic versus Myko is pretty bad. However, if you think about it in a simpler term, uh, there are two worse blues that I can end up with, and there are, I would say, one worse red and one even red. I don't think Medic and Priestess are particularly... I think Priestess is okay. I liked her a lot in Unfair, but she's just not great in synergies. So Medic ends up being... Uh, pretty bad, and Enchanter is also pretty bad, but the way that it works out here is there are four bad rolls, I would say, out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so 4 out of 13, which is uh, almost 50%, it's not quite, it's probably like 40-ish percent, something like that. That's too much for me to want to press random here ever, because I would really, really hate to end up with Fiend or Jester. Uh, so I play Maiko here. Maiko has the, the decay synergy with Sinew as well, and Maiko plays well with Trapper, for what it's worth. Like, he's not bad, but I want to talk through... He's not great. He's not the best hit, so I want to talk through why you shouldn't random there. Because we have two really good decay synergies. That's what this is called. This is called Spore, actually. Well, we have one really good and one okay synergy. But we can Spore for two damage on the vulnerable, and then just blow out Slime Clean like this. Slime... Queen, like this. I think it's fine to just kill her. The real risk of death here is double crushing attacks, and since I killed Slime Queen, I didn't take any damage on Trapper already. So Trapper and Michael will never die to double crushing, because I think that's only, yeah, six. And Sinew's always fine here. 
I locked him a big shield to be safe. There is going to be a blind, so we can't really afford to be too lazy about our play here. Like, I'm on the clock a little bit. Although he doesn't change anything. Here's double crushing. Dodge looks good. I want to just play defensive here if I can. I should have locked the growth shield if that was the idea. But just blocking everything and then letting the blind leave is fine. Poisoning the slimer also was good. Now we just kill this guy and walk this fight through. Maiko does not want to play long fights. That is one of the downsides. Like, there's a bit of anti-synergy here for sure. He really doesn't want to play longer fights. Because he obviously just blows through his mana and decays. You can, like, spore, I guess. But why am I lacking mega growth? I don't like that shit. Yeah, I land on an X. Deserved. Honestly, fucking embarrassing that I would make that mistake. And then I almost miss lethal here. Even more embarrassing. Learn, invest, an apple. If I can get to invest, it's really good. This is four mana for six mana on the next turn. It's basically two mana for it per turn for free. Uh, apple, I think, is not very good. I'm bound to play Learn Invest. It pairs pretty nicely with Maiko as well. Since he has limited mana, you can use Invest to just make yourself infinite mana and then burst town to the end of the fight. I think I'll do a dodge. Ooh, okay. Not afraid of damage taken here, so... Yeah, if it ends up being bad, it's bad. Sinew, this is a big weakness. Sometimes he just misses everything. That's kind of just how it is. I'm in danger in this fight, and I should actually, I think, be targeting the bones as a result. Having to do two damage exert feels horrific, but yeah. Give it a sec. I need to kill this bones or this quartz. I think it's this bones. I can kill this quartz. I really wanted to play invest here though, but I can just kill the quartz. It's viable. Let's take a moment. I think there's actually a lot of play here that we need to hunt through. This might be the better option. This is the better option. Kill all the bones, because quartz themselves don't do that much damage. The blind is obviously coming to get me, but he whiffed. I mean, he didn't whiff, he actually high rolled me, but I just kill a quartz and then all as well. I don't know why I rolled that. Kill a quartz and probably end turn. Could go for a sprout here if you wanted. I'm, you know, I should actually single use dodge. What am I going to dodge next turn? Nothing, because he's 1 HP. Of course. Just a 4, 3 damage. That's 3 because of spore. That's fine. Just a, it, that fight's a little scary. Trapper Herbalist is really strong. Vampire is normally good, but Herbalist Trapper is. This is what we were kind of holding out for. In the back of your mind, you pick up Trapper, you go, I would love to see Herbalist to go with this. And here it is. These are not bones. In my mind, they were bones. Mana, please. One mana, please. Two mana, even better. We can guaranteed win this. Invest is just for sure lethal. Don't even have to roll, which is the best way to play. Crystallize. That makes Myko good. Oh, it makes Sinew good. This is actually just super strong for Sinew. Lens is focused to healing and self-healing sides. It's not too good. It's okay later on. Because, like, what you can get now is you could have, in this run, if you wanted it, you could have Ego and Focus, which is times two times two. So if you use, like an ego focus setup on a heal mana gain character, you can get 8 mana for that. I don't think it's all that good, because there's a lot that has to go into that for it to actually work out. But 
Oh, and in this fight, you want to make sure you're thinking about the fights themselves. In this fight, it's actually pretty good for me to not have Sinew with Crystal Eyes, because Cleave, if I can hit it, is really good. Two shield is fine. Two mana is fine. I did hit the Cleave. Now I just need a Decay mana, please. Ah, too bad. It's fine to go Spore for two, but if I go Spore for four there... Oh, it's actually not fine. Hmm. Should have locked the one mana. Oh well. It's okay. I don't need to take a loss here. I'm pretty sure I should be fine. Just it's curious. I don't think I played this out correctly. Three mana, four damage. Four damage. Yeah, we'll just take it. It's fine. No need to be silly here. We just put these guys away. It's not, this blind is going to come in and he's going to be annoying, but should kill this one. Uh, I'm going to go Herbalist heal, actually. Super high roll for me that this sniper just missed. That's very fortunate. I want to just shield Sinew here, ideally. I think he lives now. Yeah, he lives now. If I can just pass. Warden, what the hell? Stirred. I got pretty lucky that the sniper didn't eliminate, though. If my sinew gets eliminated there, I think he just dies. Awkward fight. Didn't work out how I wanted, but I should have locked the one mana. Probably Sharp Shot. I don't think Shaman's all that good. Sharp Shot's fine. This copycat bow is extremely, extremely strong, but often not very good. We're gonna go Crystallize on Sinew now so he can just punch down bones. And we just invest Lich away. Not a particularly hard fight. I don't imagine anyway. Invest? Mana? Man! This game is not good. That's what I think. I could put three mana to save four damage here, but it's also not that interesting to me. Remember to unlock Sinew if he rolls the X. That's an important thought. Make sure you're thinking that. Two shield is fine. Kinda wanna go for better though. Okay, so in this position, here's how you want to approach this. Should I roll for better on Sinew? Yes. You can't do the actual numbers as to why, but baseline from this position, I can always save Sharp Shot by killing one Bones. So I can roll for a better turn. And even if I miss that, I have shields from Warden as well. Yeah, and the only, it's only one out of six times that it's bad. And a lot of times it's pretty good. The only downside is I don't get to invest here, but that's all right. I would like to grow this mana. Nah, I'd like to grow this shot. Yeah, I'm one off of investing. It would have been nice to get some investing going. This fight's just going to be very long, so I should be playing to invest here. Especially if Lich just spams me, because that's what this guy does sometimes. He just sits there and spams you. One mana is one mana. An investment's an investment. I have to kill this blind, but I'm going to kill the bones, because the blind... It is a lot of AoE damage to deal with. But... I'll be okay. It would just be nice to get some regen going. Don't let him catch you. Hmm. I do more damage by passing. Although I could get growth here. <laughs> okay, I could do... Oh, but he can't actually have growth inflicted on him, so never mind. Okay, that's fine. I invested... I could play some sprouts, maybe. Uh, basically, I'm just going to let invest carry me through this fight. I have sprout to heal me through. 
I can just pass my turn and let the blind leave. It's the best play. I get a whole free turn here, basically. Not too bad. <laughs> Not too good either, apparently. Invest. I want to do two damage so I don't spend the rest of my life in this fight. Also, I can only invest once per turn, so I may as well spend it. One regen is so good here, by the way. It's ridiculous. This Bones dies. Two shield isn't bad, but I don't actually know how good it is. I think two damage is better. One mana is fine. Should be trying to get Myko growing here, I feel. Just remember, it's going to be a long fight. Doesn't really matter too much how it plays out. I am in a very good position to go long. I'm gonna kill all these bones so I don't want to shield here. One damage is fine. It's three damage effectively because I'm gonna have to kill them with mana. So, and it's also important to note there that it's even because I have vine, I can always perfect spend my mana. Oh yeah, just imagine if the third turn enemy was more threatening, how hard this fight would look, though. Should not lock that. Guy loves his chain cleaves. Gotta say. Thank you to invest. Clumsy Hammer M3. What a tier 6. Candle's pretty worthless. I go random. Huh. Welcome back, Cauldron. It is pretty bad, but fine. It's not great, but I can use it to guarantee invest sometimes if the fight's not too scary, so that's nice. Shields, potentially? I don't think so. It's very good if I can just get some regen out and live this poison hit. I do believe. Two damage is putting damage to the top knoll to kill it. I think that's fine as well. God damn it, Sinew. It could be worse. This guy's exerted, you're on one, you're almost dead. It's not great. I should have. What I should have done is I should have killed the null. I could have spored the single use poison to kill the bottom null. That was a misplay. Spore up to four kills this null and then by proxy kills the bandit. And then the myco isn't dying. And then you're not dying, so the only unit dying in that case would be the sharp shot. Who's only dying by one? Yeah, okay. So we take our time to think through this fight and we realize that you're supposed to just go boom, boom, finished. And they'll die to poison, the blind won't spawn it. Doctor's good, basically, not basically. Doctor's the best red in the game, and Valkyrie is like the third worst gray, I think. So, not a hard choice. No real reason to pick Valkyrie here. If you have a reason to play Valkyrie, play Valkyrie there. We don't. Doctor's really, really good. I'm not going to give him Burning Blade. I think it is not worth minus 2 max HP. One of the things that makes him very strong is that he's 10 HP. He has a very good spell. And consistent mana. And uh, probably something else, honestly, if you want to go for it. I think this looks good to me, though. Get these freaks out of here. This fight was just never a problem. We have sharp shot to kill sni snipers, so not really close, is it? Probla, Demon Claw. Demon Claw is pretty bad. Sharp shot's like the only character in the game that kind of likes it, I think. That's not entirely true, but you know. There's stuff to do with it, it's just pretty uncommon. But kill from 5, Rampage is decent, but for a tier 7 it's so hit or miss. 
Like in half of the bosses, it's just worthless. So I go troll blood. Two regen on, I think, Doctor. Nice and stable. How do you want to approach this fight? I think we ignore the Hydra. Bank mana turn one. Aim for a stun on Cyclops plus kill on Hydra turn two. That's going to be my play. This helps us kill the Hydra quite a bit. I'm going to keep it. I think it's fine. Not great. But one to all is good. And it sets me up to stun the Cyclops if I want. Maybe we'll stun it now, right? Why not? And now I either... Don't let that happen. Force shield is good. Am I going for lethal on this turn? If I am, I can turn that force shield into one mana. If I had vine, it would be a lot easier. I don't think I have vine, though. I mean, I don't have vine. That's not a thing. So I should... The force shield is still good though, because I'm probably gonna kill Cyclops and then I need to get Doctor to live the Hydra hit. Stop it. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we're gonna go aim the Cyclops. It's like. Like that, probably. Again, wish I could play Invest. Couldn't play Invest. So be it. I have three mana stored. I'm aiming to kill the Hydra here. Don't want to lock any of these. I just got to remember what I'm trying to do. Oh, the chain actually works. Even though it gets stasis. Huh. Oh. This is terrible. Yeah, so here we are. This is one of the few randoms I'm going to take. Eccentric Prince is probably the worst possible to pick you could show me. Uh, we have yellow, gray, and blue left. It's not, they're like equally bad, so it's not the worst, but Eccentric and Prince are the worst in their respective colors. But we have blue open and blue has two really bad hits. But even if I get locked in on Ghast or Ace, I can use Doctor. I can, I can spend the mana on Doctor to just extend fights, which is fine. I don't have any reason to play Eccentric. If this guy had two more HP, this would be a different conversation, because Burning Blade. But, yeah, this is a random. And if I get the worst case, if I get any of the bad ones, it's okay. If I get Artificer, it's sweet. So, oh, and we just get the best. Cool. Very nice. But now my stasis isn't very good, so... Hmm. Strange. Now that's like a, that's a no-brainer for sure. You always random that. And something along these lines looks fine. In the Troll King, we'll see what the rolls are like before I start making a game plan. Three damage is your best, unless I want to go for mana, but I don't particularly. I think I'm going to aim to kill the Archer and just kind of outlive Troll King. I have a lot of regen I can play with, although I don't know if it's that good. I'm going to aim to play around Invest here, I think. Wow, that was a fucking disgusting set of rolls. Very not good. Now we have 10 damage, so I can put the Troll King effectively to 12 here. And I think that is going to end up being the play. Because I don't get Invest, we have to shift our game plan back over to just kill Troll King. Shouldn't be too hard to sprint 14 damage to the end here. 3 plus 3, that's 6 of it already. 4, yeah, he's dead. Thing. Anyway. Oh, he's not dead. Never mind. Oh, but I wanted to check this. Okay, so I'm definitely locking these. I'm gonna roll these two. Interesting. So I can kill Troll King now. You wanna go upstream a little bit, put an era into him so he dies evenly. 
the issue is that Warden is still dying, so the only line that's going to save Warden here is going to be letting Troll King live. Which is okay. It's a it's awkward to pivot the game plan, but we can do it. And instead we just go. I was gonna go spore spore. I was gonna go uh burst burst burst, but I'm one off. So we could do this. That seems ugly. I do not like that. I think for safety we sack warden. Let's look at some other ones here. How do you feel about this? It's a lot of poison and a lot of people dying. But I have three mana banked. If I had one more mana, and how far away am I from killing Troll King? So two ideas here basically are reasonable. You can either sack Warden and take the guaranteed victory, or you can play a little more fast and loose. And we can do something like this. It's a lot of poison. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm actually I think I am gonna end up going this way. And we're gonna go right on do heal on doctor because we're gonna go liquor on warden to cleanse the poison because if we're gonna play the long game here like this we may as well play it i could go so far as to spore this but why yeah that makes no sense uh, and i will just burst i should burst the slate i think we can do this because i have doctor and i have mana gain so i can just liquor through any deaths i'm pretty sure this turn my draws or my my rolls will be better i believe you should look for mana but one damage is better than one mana here you should roll here on ranger for kill from six or copycat five and six are the same number so I should roll these three. Mm. And then I think we want to consider not taking any risks. One shield is unfortunate. This goes here. This goes here. I know you're thinking this looks really bad. It's completely fine. It's just interesting to consider. It's actually not completely fine. It's a little bit concerning, I believe. I have very slightly less mana than I would like, and the slate's just sitting here pummeling me. Or a doctor in this position, actually. Strange. But you can get him to live just like that. And then I can go... It's actually going to be a sprout angle here. Sprout goes kind of crazy with it. But I have to liquor. The only thing bad about this is that I lose my invest. But I can just sprout my way through this and probably get back my investment. It's just this the problem here is that I pivoted my plan and now Troll King is alive late into the fight and the slate is alive. Like you don't want to be in this position if you can avoid it. Regen is good. The two mana is good if I can get an invest out. It actually doesn't look too bad. Regen here. I can't get an invest out, but it kills that guy. I've just let Troll King regen his whole health bar, which is ugly. But I don't know. Probably roll for era and also shield is good if i'm locking regen which i am two damage is all that makes sense here 
It doesn't make sense to roll for shield because I'm dying to poison anyway. The fact that I don't get to invest is a shame. But this position I think is winning. It just took me a while to get here. The main reason that this is so winning to me though is because my Myco is stasis. Unfortunate about the minus one, but uh, what can you do? It was important at the time. Oh man. I wanted to play Invest here. I guess I can. I wanted to play Invest and Liquor though. But I'm just shy. Okay. No investing. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty close to just killing him anyway. And thank you to Sprout. Definitely carried me through this one. Just a, a very weird Troll King fight. It doesn't play like this too often, but it's the way that it made sense to me. I don't know if it was actually the optimized way. Because like when I start out and I put that damage into Troll King, it's not crazy to see him die on turn two. But I think we took a string of unfortunate rolls, which put us into this long game position. But, I mean, I also, I could have taken that fight to a much faster victory if I just sent one of my guys to death, but it was fine to play it out. Iron Blood Pendant is not crazy here. Kind of pairs nicely with Troll Blood, but that's about it. Standard is... eh, as well. Plus one on Wanderer, it's okay, because shield three copycat's kind of good. I like randoming here. Sushi, sure. I think actually pretty decent on Sharp Shot sometimes, so it's also good on Doctor. Acceptable. I will take it. Three damage blasts a Caw for me if Wanderer, well, he actually kills with Defy anyway. Hmm. This position's awkward. I might actually be dying. The guarantee lock here is this one. It's only bad if I roll era. Oh, it's not even that bad. I can spore. Okay, it's... Can I spore? No. Hmm. I should unlock this. Unlock here. Yeah. Okay. So even in this position, which was unfortunate, with those two locks, I had a guaranteed... Or the, these two locks gave me a guaranteed line to take no deaths here, I believe. Was that right? That might not have been right, actually. Hmm. Well, it works out, so I don't need to sweat it too much. Just an awkward fight because everyone fucking shit their pants to lead us off. Just a bunch of fucking misses. No defy when I need it. One mana from Myko kind of clutched. Wander's dying. Heal there. Warden's dying. Heal there. Sharpshot's dying. Uh, that's probably like. Wanderer has more HP to play through, so I should maybe do like this. Orange, yellow. How about if I kill this bird? That's a lot better. That gives me my invest burst play. Pain on Myko. Doesn't matter because he's stasis style. Kill from six. I forgot you had that. It's been a while. One of the nice things about Wanderer I didn't even think about, but he always lines up here. He's always going to hit this five damage on a blind. One damage is fine, because it's just a kill. And then this dies. Heal four. Invest, because it's guaranteed. Sure, whatever, Kaw, you're dead. This is done rolling. Stalwart Kronos. Kronos plays pretty nicely with Wanderer. Stalwart also doesn't do terribly with Wanderer. Uh, Wanderer can copycat all of his shit really nicely. 
and is decent. I would like to play through my blue, but I think I will play Stalwart as a result. He's middle of the road for sure, but doubling up on Cleanse or Cleave Shields or double use Wonder makes Stalwart a lot better. Basically. It's overkill on Cleanse because I have Dr. Cleanse as well, but I don't want to pick there on Chronos because I'd like to play a carry for my blue since this character is not very good. Sharp shot. Kind of useless. So it's it's good to try, at least. Nice little invest. I don't know why I locked this exert, to be honest with you. It's not a good play. Should have just rolled a shield. Looking for a 4 damage era swing, please. This is your worst hit, for sure. Mm, invest. 2 damage and kill. Maybe a heal 6. What are you dying to? Spiker and Basilisk. Can't kill either of them. So I guess we shield. And may as well save 4 damage on Stalwart. Why not? Might have been a slightly better play in there. Felt fine. To the right, it is just rolling. It's very nice. Looking for era. Kill from five, acceptable. Were you not? Oh no, it was only up here. So these shields aren't that good then. Probably take the right off, actually. It's just a kind of a nuisance here, isn't it? Kill is blind. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Maybe heal five mana gain. Eleven damage is close to killing one. I am Spiker. Get this freakazoid out of here. Three, six, two. Shield cleave is fine if you want it. Lots of rights. Must say. All right. Fuck you. Come on, man. Haven't I done enough in this run? Why are you making me fight Triple Chomp? Six through eight is Cauldron, Sushi, Trollblood. Cauldron six? I think it's also Stasis. No, Stasis is five, okay. Sushi, two Sushis is kind of cool. Lots of rolls. But four Hide Bracers is almost certainly the way here. It's so good defensively on these characters. Twiddle is a swap top and bottom side, by the way. This is kind of close. Uh, it's so many rolls, but what am I rolling for, right? I'm gonna go Vorhead. I think it's better. Worst case, it's this. I'm gonna take this and move it up to Sharp Shot, maybe? Sometimes 8 damage is going to be good, although I think it's actually kind of... I mean, it's a plus 1, so it's fine. Okay. Time to face the chomps. Let's get to work. I'm sure this is going to be a fun fight. Putting a regen on Sharp Shot is pretty big. This Sharp Shot's about to be fucking beat. Can't even take my attack. Just gotta pass my goddamn turn. Hate it here. I'll play your game. I'll do what you want. I know what you want here. It's not that crazy. You want me to just stack era and build up sprout and invest and it's fine. Stack regens to live these hits. Invest. I could kill him. That's one chomp dead. Is it worth it? It's fine. Hello, Mr. Blind. Good. Sharp Shot's healing four and I'm still getting killed. Isn't this a little ridiculous? Don't you think? I'm just gonna kill the blind guy. No. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill the blind guy eventually.
Yeah. It's fine. We're just gonna sprout to heal through all the chomp damage. Five damage is good. It's almost killing a chomp. Uh, sprout into five, into five, into sprout, into sprout, into six, into sprout. Uh, this is not a good play. Can anyone tell me what's wrong with this play? There's something you should have in the back of your mind here. This is a really hard one to see, so I don't blame you if you don't see it. Uh, okay, here's the situation. Copycat ranged and sushi can combo to cantrip kill your Maiko here. And I know what you're thinking, that's never gonna happen, but it could. And that's the problem, it could happen. So we need to position ourselves to have a 0% chance of having someone die here. Cause it's like, you know, it's like a one in 36, it could happen. You just end your turn, it's no big deal. They wanna put another blind in here on me, go for it. I don't mind. Heal two, five damage, I think now we're clear. Yeah. And it didn't happen, but it's good to keep it in mind. Wow. That's not very good. So here's the thing, though. This is not the worst. In this position, if you really like it, you can play Ghast. We can play Borhide Stasis Ghast, and he just drops constant four damage weakens into Hexia and completely obliterates her. Actually, you know what? That does sound kind of OP. While we just let the era build up on Wanderer. That seems viable. I'm down. Because we can just lock her out of the game here. One of the downsides of Invest is it's really bad into Hexia. So you give me this... Now, obviously, death is not the play here, but we can slow build some regen and we can just kind of win out. This invest isn't good. I think that I don't play this. Oh, sorry, not the invest. I think the right isn't good. We're going to take a long while to clear Hexia, but should be pretty good. Inflicted pain is annoying, but what I can do if she's inflicting pain, which I didn't really say out loud, I can just go, like, kill an imp. I can also, I can cleanse one of these. I probably want to cleanse. I'll let Stalwart take this. I think I'll kill this imp. Regen on gas. Kill that imp. And then three damage to the other one. Oh boy, this is going to take a while. Okay, I think that turn is fine. Now, if Ghast whiffs on critical turns, eventually he's going to miss. That's the other piece of this that you have to keep in mind. We just hope it doesn't happen too early. See? It doesn't happen too early. Let me cleanse you. Actually, you might want to take this pain and just go double regen on Ghast here. Full HP? No, okay. Am I stupid? Why would I take this pain? Here we go. So this guy's at 6 regen. And he just has to keep- just stay locked in, buddy. It's all you. We're all cheering for you. This is your 1 in 100, boss. Ah, oh, he choked. That's okay. He gave me three free turns versus Hexia, which is pretty decent, but they, they know who to target. One demon spawning is not the end of the world, either. I am trying to invest, but I don't think I can. I don't know what I'm saying. Of course I can. I have to put a liquor on this guy, that's all. Mm, how bad is it? It's not too bad. But I should do this in a better order, basically. Mm, no, I can't. 
Never mind. I thought I could get a little bit more value out of this. Get some more mana gaining in. But no. Or actually, I thought I could get the heal in. But no. Burst. Harvest. Shield. Can I sprout you? I have to lick her. Oh, he dies anyway. Okay, never mind. Cannot do it this way. Sorry. Hold. I'll figure this out. Don't waste the heal. And then... Field invest. He, he regen six, so if he's not dying, he's living. May as well shield someone else. Probably stalwart. Okay, now we have to kill our first demon. A week in here, please. Big man. Big man. God, he sucks. It's okay, I'm getting value. God, this unit sucks, man. Just kill the demon, shield the gas. Actually, can you you can kill them when they're on one, I'm pretty sure. I can harvest this thing. Yeah, because they're immune to magic damage, they're not immune to just being killed. I'm gonna sprout, I believe. I think we're gonna really, really stretch this fight out. This is going to be, like, the longest Hexia fight of my life. But, look, it's not a big deal. I do want to punch 6 damage to Demon. I think it's pretty good to just kill him. Fucking regen 8 on this loser. I can sprout him to live. This is fine. Dude, there's two blind. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help! Oh my god, he's so ass. Why would you do this to me? Uh, fine. I need to kill both of these blinds anyway. That turn was miserable. Hated that. Probably should have liquored actually, when he was all the way low. I mean, he can't be fucking. He, he, he's unaffected. I am in no. Oh, fuck. No rush. Here. I guess I can, like, sprout one, burst one here. Hexia can't play. I think she's dead. I could lock two mana and then she dies. Okay, she's dead. Cool. Fucking rat, dude. He missed. I mean, he only missed once, to be fair. But it was a tough miss. And I think he missed twice. He missed two turns in a row. But that's okay. Uh, cool line to see, isn't it? Super, super cool line. I will... I'll give it to him for that, at least. I'll press submit now and we'll take second place. Nice. Not too bad. Feels good. Feels, feels really good. I gotta say. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I will be back tomorrow for more slicing. Catch you then. Goodbye. What the fuck? That's not my outro.